Oh, buddy, I hope this works. All right, so this symbol on my right is a 22 inch symbol that is one of my personal symbols. I've had it for many months and I've done various modifications over the months to try and dial it in a little bit more and it's never quite worked for me. It has a nice sound, as you can tell. It's not a bad sounding symbol. It's got complexity. It's got a low fundamental. It's got stick definition that cuts through, uh, but it doesn't really work for me. So I'm gonna try to repurpose this symbol, reimagine it into something different. We're gonna just go for it and see if it works. And if it doesn't, I'm still gonna do a follow-up video so we can see the experiment and we'll talk about it. Stay tuned. All right, so the cut down is complete. I really like where it's at. The cut down disrupted the tension in a way that now the symbol is out of whack. Uh, the profile is, is a little bit wavy and wonky, and so I need to do some corrective hammering, uh, as well as I want to kind of, I have to restructure the symbol now that this is the edge. I have to do a little bit of a taper here, and I also want to add in uh, a little bit of a steeper profile. So it just needs to be rehammered and more and designed for this shape because obviously it was originally intended to be a 22. So let's check out how it sounds. All right, so the rehammering has been done on this symbol, and uh, a final pass on the lathe, and some thinning at the edge to give it a little bit more of a taper. And I wanted to go ahead and shoot another video because I wanted to show you what happens after a rehammering session. So symbols need to be rested after they've been worked on because the alloy has a tendency to seize up and and choke out uh, after a certain amount of work and after it's rested it kind of loosens back up and so I'm going to play this symbol for you now and you're going to hear just how choked it feels uh, but you're going to get a sense for the character of the symbol that it'll have. I'm finished. So after all said and done, this symbol is 1,548 grams, super duper thin, and it is 19 and 3 quarter inches in diameter. So it's a lot different now. I have taken it through multiple different iterations. I went back and hammered it. I laid it some more, didn't like it, so I had to go hammer again. And I really was trying to find something that was cool uh, out of this modification. But I really love what it's turned into. It's this very very thin, splashy uh, ride symbol that would work better in lower volumes uh, or it can work as a crash. I did a pretty significant taper from here to the edge. So this edge, I mean, is very, very thin. The whole symbol is very, very thin. And typically crash symbols have a very extreme taper to the edge so that they have a more immediate response when you crash on them and rides typically are more of an even taper so that there's more clear st stick articulation, uh, which is why with crash symbols you don't have a lot of stick 
and the stick that you do have thrives better at lower volumes. So this symbol, I still left a good amount of weight, uh, relatively speaking, a good amount of weight from the bell to about mid midway down the cymbal, just so that it could have a little bit of articulation and still function as a ride. But uh, thinning it really, really thin at the edge just helps it open up super quick and have a really nice aggressive uh, immediate crash sound. So it's got some weird tone pockets in it. Obviously this symbol was not designed to be in this size or this shape or have this profile. So it's, it's got some funky things going on, but in the process of doing this, I've been thinking a lot about uh, how a really pure, consistent sound can sometimes be a little one-dimensional. It can lack a little bit of vibe uh, and sometimes some weird overtones or some little kind of almost dissonant uh, frequencies going on can actually be pleasant in the overall sound of a cymbal, and it can make a cymbal interesting to listen to. So let's zoom in a little bit. I'll play this uh, cymbal in various places, and we'll just let it breathe so you can really hear what's going on. So you can tell as I'm playing the cymbal out near the edge here, it opens up really quick and that wash grows and blooms really fast. But even when I moved right up to here, there's more weight on this portion of the cymbal. So it had a little bit more articulation and it stayed a little bit more controlled. And then even more so up near the bell, it had more weight and stayed even more in control and that stick articulation sat on top of the wash and then the bell is still cutting through. The bell has very little lathing done on it from the original symbol that was 22 inches. So there's a good amount of weight. It's a very extreme taper. This is one of the most extreme tapers I've ever done on a, on a symbol. And it's got a funky thing that would, uh, it, it makes it a little bit more specific of a symbol. It's not necessarily gonna be the most versatile symbol that you would use in any genre, but for that one purpose, it could be great. I, I've used it as a left side ride now. I've used it as a far right crash. Uh, it's got a lot of character to it and a, it's just a unique symbol. So I would say this was a success. Uh, when I started out on this project, I had done a modification to the original 22 inch symbol and it always felt like it just wasn't for me. Uh, like I said, this is my personal symbol and uh, it just didn't fit my playing and I just found that I was never using it. So doing the modification was a little bit like, okay, let's just see what happens. Uh, and I definitely think this is now something that's usable for me. I would, I would put this in, uh, it is actually versatile in that I can use it as a crash symbol in heavier music ac applications, but I can also take it and use it as a low volume ride in a particularly loud room and it'll work. So drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Let me know, did you like the original way better or do you like the modification? Would you find that this could be something that you would use yourself? And we've got some really exciting videos coming soon uh, that I'm really looking forward to. I hope you guys will really like it. So yeah, drop a comment below, subscribe, visit our website, reach out to me if you have any questions and keep an eye out for the next video. Cheers.